Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video, we will talk about the Unify Network application, which was announced as release candidate from the Ubiquiti controller version 7.5.187, and it has brought a lot of new features. We will talk about in this video. First, it has brought PPSK private pre-shared key where you can assign multiple passwords on a single SSID like up to 4 passwords you can assign to the single SSID and a new changes on the client dashboard like uh, if you have a Wi-Fi only networks uh, in your network applications such as you are using just a unified cloud key controller or hosted controller and you are having only unify access point so you will see the difference in the dashboard where it will uh, show you the uh, client signal strength and all these things we will check in detail on this video and it has uh, brought a lot of improvement and the bug fixes <laughs> So I have upgraded my Unify network application to 7.5.187 uh, as you can see here uh, if you check here on my network it says network 7.5.187 I am running on the hosted controller Hostify. So we will check the overview new features what added on this controller version. So under the overview you see the Unify network application 7.5.187 add support for Wi-Fi private pre-shared key and added a new dashboard for Wi-Fi only setups. So here is the example they have given Wi-Fi private shared keys. You can use different password on the same Wi-Fi to connect clients to different VLAN networks. And uh, this is the new dashboard for Wi-Fi only setup. For example, you can see the active channel, active inside signals. Then we'll check in this controller and they bought some of the improvements like they have added active Wi-Fi channels to the dashboard and they have a validation for IPv6 prefix as ID and you can add a new IP or port ring to Unify Talk to default firewall rules and they improve the validation for IPv6 WAN interface and improve network application startup for last setups like uh, uh, during the startup uh, it won't run uh, fine so they have improved the network application startup for last setups where you have multiple uh, devices um, like lots of unified devices and they also limit auto backup option to preserve console storage like if you are using unify consoles uh, like uh, uh, on the cloud key gen 2 on the udr udm pro so they limit auto backup options to preserve the console storage this is the box fixes which were the previous controller version were having they have fixed on this controller version where lots of uh, users were facing the blank guest portal page so they have improved uh, these issues like fix an issue where you might see a blank guest portal in rare cases and they have also improved the Wi-Fi channels option when uh, you are creating a new sites and they also fix uh, auto IP site to site VPN which cannot be deleted uh, on the previous version and they also fix the unknown error on the gateway when you try to make any changes on the gateway it gives you any uh, unknown error in that cases and uh, they also fix the super admin role uh, like uh, was assigned to newly created ad site admins like when you uh, try to create a uh, site admins it give them as a role of super admin instead of that site admin so they have fixed those issues so uh, lots of improvements is uh, brought back on this controller version first we will see about the private pre-shared key like i was talking about you can uh, assign a multiple uh, password on a single ssid as you can see here this is a test ssid i have and i have used three private pre-shared key configured for the three vlan network. this is my default lan network and this is the IoT VLAN and this is the Unify camera. So all uh, three have different password. So whenever uh, I, I will see the single SSID on the client devices so I can connect to the multiple uh, VLAN networks with the different password. If I try to connect to Unify camera VLAN uh, uh, with this password I will get the IP address in uh, of that VLAN range. If I connect to IoT I will be connecting to the uh, IoT subnet range as you can check under the networks for IoT the VLAN ID is 20 and the subnet is 192.168.20.0 so I will be 
connecting in that subnet for similarly for the unify camera when i connect to the ssid is on vlan id3 so i will be connecting to the uh, you know, this subnet is 192.160.30.0 slash 24 so this is how uh, you can uh, use the ppsk private pre-shared key on the uh, uh, new unify network application later on we will test on one of the devices by connecting to the ssid and now let's check the new dashboard for the wi-fi only clients i have one of my sites uh, home network where i have a ubiquity router edge router and unify switch and the access point so you will see the difference in the dashboard like this is the uh, control dashboard for the wi-fi only so you will see the signal strength like uh, what the signal strength uh, uh, actual percentage of the signal strength. so from here you can determine uh, um, what the signal strength the channel strength is uh, currently on your network and this is the radio uh, TX retries you can see the most active uh, apart from that everything re remains same and here you will see the active channel which channel is active currently client is connected so 2.4 gigahertz almost uh, by default uh, active like one AP and one client is connected and uh, 2.46 gigahertz and uh, I mean channel 6 is uh, active and here the channel 1 is active and one client is connected on 2.4 channel 1 and one uh, client is connected on 2.4 channel 6 and uh, one is connected uh, two clients are connected on the channel 11 or uh, for that ap and similarly three channels are used for the 5 gigahertz you can check here uh, channel number 36 channel number 44 and the channel 157 this is how you can determine and this is the graph for your uh, activity inside like you have a total three of access point uh, you can check the uh, tx retries uh, wi-fi activity everything so this uh, uh, has been improved and brought by the uh, new dashboard on the wi-fi only setup so now what we'll do we will test the ppsk uh, on the one of the my client devices and see uh, how you can connect to the single SSID with the different passport on the different VLAN subnet. So right now I have uh, my iPhone connected uh, to the one of the SSID. So as you can see, he, uh, there is one SSID test SSID which I have created on the, the controller shows up. So I will try to connect to the test SSID. First, I will connect to the default uh, subnets. So as you can see, I'm connected to the default subnet. So we'll click on the I button and see what IP address. So this is my default subnet of 192.160.1.1 and the IP address is getting 192.160.1.102. So we'll forget this network and we'll try to connect to the other network. So we, I forget the SSID and I will uh, connect to the same SSID with different password. So I'm connected to the test society with different password. As you can see here, I'm on the VLAN ID 20 subnet, uh, 192.160.20.1 and the IP address is 192.168.20.102. So similarly, I will forget this network and connect to the different SS, uh, same society, the different password. So this is the last society I will be connecting and let's see what subnet will be connected. So I'm connected to the test SID with a different password. Let's check the subnet. So as you can see, I'm on the Unify camera subnet, which of uh, gateway is 192.160.30.1. The IP address it got is 192.168.30.102. So this is how similar, uh, I mean, this is how the PPSK works uh, on the single SSID. Um, you can have uh, multiple password uh, set uh, on that uh, uh, single SSID with uh, different VLAN networks. So that works uh, with the new features on the Unify controller version 7.5.187. I hope you will like this video. If you like this video, please comment down likes to this video and uh, please share this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.